Hey guys, let's play a game. This is going to be so much fun. I want you to participate and let me just explain how this works. Yesterday I did something that was so much fun. I took every eyeshadow palette that I own, took it out, spread it all out in front of me and opened every single palette and just kind of looked at it, maybe even did a little bit of swatching here and there. And what I did was I made two piles. I made one pile for the palettes that just wasn't really feeling it at the moment for whatever reason. It could be color, it could be texture, it could be the way it's swatched, whatever. Just wasn't feeling that palette. Then the pile of palettes that was left that I was feeling, I narrowed it down. And one of the things that I used for criteria, you don't have to use this criteria, but I did it for you guys' sake. I removed anything from the pile that you could no longer get because I'm going to show you what was in my good pile and um, I wanted you to still be able to get something that I showed you. So I took out anything that was no longer available. There's some surprises in there too, by the way, because uh, there's one palette that you probably don't think is available anymore, but it is because I checked. I made sure I referenced every single thing to make sure you could still get these. Um, but what I did was I narrowed it down to seven because I figured seven days a week, seven palettes, I don't know, seven just, I was going to do ten but that seemed like too much. So I narrowed it down to seven. These are the seven palettes that yesterday if someone had said to me, okay, we're going to take away all your eyeshadow palettes, you can only keep seven. So I'm going to show you what was left and what I want you to do is after you watch this video or when you get a chance, do the same thing. Come back and tell me in the comment section what seven palettes you have left. I, I'm not saying this to get comments or feedback. I genuinely want to know what your seven favorite eyeshadow palettes are that you currently own. Because not only will it be fun, because <laughs> trust me, I, that was so much fun for me to sit there and, you know, sort it all out and swatch things and really say, okay, if I could only keep seven, which ones would I keep? Trust me, you're going to have fun doing this. It's like the ultimate makeup playing game. So you're going to have fun, but it's also going to give you some insight into what your favorite things are in your collection. All right, so let's get started. Um, these aren't going to be in any particular order. Um, actually, what I did was I piled them up with the littlest ones on the bottom and the biggest ones on top. So it's going to be largest palette to smallest palette is what it is. Okay, number one is going to be the Morphe Jacqueline Hill palette. And I think a lot of you probably have this. And this is what it looks like. And the reason why I chose this is not only are there a lot of neutral colors that you can use to do a lot of different looks with, but the main reason why I have this is for these two shades right here. When I do, uh, I usually uh, just put this on the lid and this in the crease or outer corner. Whenever I wear those two shadows, I get so many compliments. These are beautiful, you guys. If you have this palette and you mostly play with the, the neutral part of it and have not used these two, you must try it. it. They are so nice to work with and it is such a beautiful finished look. So those are the two shadows. That is why I chose this palette, just because of those two shadows. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is my Coastal Scents Ultra Shimmer Palette. This has 88 shadows in it. And the reason why I chose this is 
if I see a look on YouTube or on Instagram or something and I want to recreate the look and I don't have the exact products that the person used, I can use this to pull those products out because this palette has every possible color that you would ever need to do a look. And I also have the original one, which is a matte formula, but that one is no longer available. I, I would suspect if they discontinued that, that they're probably going to come up with something to replace it. Maybe they're going to improve the formula. That would be nice because honestly, this is not the best formula in the world, but you have every color you need and the price is right. So that's why... I have this is so that I can do any look that I could possibly want to do. Every shade is represented. So that would be number two. Number three, this is the palette that you're going to say, what? That's still available? Okay, I'm going to show you a limited edition palette. So it's not going to be available forever, but it is available right now on the Sephora website. I bought this last year. And it was an investment, you know, it was expensive, but it was so worth it. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the Sephora Pro Palette. Do you remember when they came out with those Pro Palettes? They had the Warm, the Cool, and the Pro. This is the Pro. These colors are so pigment and so vibrant and so gorgeous that it's I, I think it's the only palette I have that is like colorful but really good quality like I also included the coastal scents because then I have every color and this obviously doesn't have every color in it but I'm wearing this right now in the crease and I dragged it along my lower lash line it's Maisha so that's what I have in those places right now. And I have this, which is, oh, sorry, you're getting a glare. I have this, which is Rose Quartz. That is my highlight shade, my brow bone highlight and my inner corner highlight. So the top row is pretty much highlight shades, except for this foiled looking silver. But the rest of these shades are all highlight shades. Then you've got your bright colors, and then you've got some shimmery metallic type shades and you've got black. So this palette is $68, so that is a lot of money, but it's if you just want like one palette for bright colors, this is a really, really good quality palette. So, okay, this is the editorial palette. That's what it's called. The, the, the line of palettes is Sephora Pro. This one is the editorial. And just in case you're curious, they do also still have the warm and the cool. I don't have those. This is the one that I really wanted, and this is definitely in my top seven palettes. The next one I think a lot of you probably have, um, the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. How could I not include this? This was a game changer. It's the perfect fall palette. You know, it's got the berries and the oranges and the golds and a yellow and some brow bone colors and some browns. It's just, it combined everything that a lot of people love, which is warm neutrals, with some red toned pops of color, red and orange. Red, orange, yellow, brown, beige. Yeah, this is, and it's such good quality. I know that the formula of Anastasia from palette to palette can change a little bit depending on the way it was pressed and all that, but these were good. They've always been good. Nobody ever complains about the quality of these. The color scheme is perfect. It's the perfect fall palette, I think. And winter, I guess. Fall and winter. So... Yeah, you, you can't go wrong with that. This next palette, now we're going to get into the small palettes because 
That was like three large palettes, one medium sized palette. Now we're going to do three small palettes. This is what I had on in yesterday's video. This is the LA Colors Glamorous palette. So this is like all muted, uh, let's see, there's a white, but then there's some grays. This was the shade that was like the focus of my look yesterday. It's like a sort of a periwinkle type color, I would say. But then you've got some, some mauves right here. And you've got some browns right here. Well, actually the whole bottom row is browns. But they're like cooler browns. And, okay, so you've got cooler browns, you've got mauves, a white, and then you've got um, some grays up here and the periwinkle. But this is a really nice palette. It's a dollar. So is it the best quality in the world? No. But they're really beautiful shades and it's so much fun to play with. And I thought that look that I did came out really nice. One of you even wanted me to recreate it. And this is all I used was this. And uh, actually, no, I did use another palette with it, which I'll show you in a second. But this was the focal point of the look. So you can get this at Dollar Tree. Um, I think that might be the only place you can get it. Yeah, so Dollar Tree is the only place that I remember seeing it. So, yeah, for a buck, it is definitely worth it. And I really enjoyed that look that I did yesterday. So I included it in this video. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is also by LA Colors. This is their Matte Eyeshadow Palette in Matterific. I could not... I don't, let me rephrase that, I do not want to do my brows without this palette. This is the palette that I use to do my brows. It doesn't matter whether I use this one or this one because they are very, very similar. But I fill in my brows with this palette and I also use this palette when I want a cooler transition shade to do any eye look. I use this today for I, I used this one right here to fill in my brows and I also used it as my transition shade for this look and um, so this is a must-have for me I get this at Family Dollar you can also get this on shopmissay.com if you like to order online but this is such a great palette it's only a dollar it has the most beautiful smooth texture to the shadows they blend like a dream I would pay way more than a buck for this so that is number not uh, no six <laughs> yeah that is number six I, I may have messed up the numbers there but it doesn't really matter I just I picked seven palettes and the last but not least is another one of the LA Colors matte eyeshadow palettes. This one is in Mattifying. By the way, just in case you're curious, there are four of these palettes. Um, the reason why I chose this is because if I need a transition shade that is warm, I use this one. And you can definitely use the other shadows in the palette, but that's my most used one. I mean, if you want something for the lower lash line or the outer corner this brown is gorgeous and then you've got this beige highlight shade up here and then if you just want a real simple look you could put this on your lid and then you've got you know all four shades to do one look but yeah this one is called mattifying so again it's a dollar fantastic quality um you can get these at Family Dollar. You know what? You can get these. I just remembered. You can get these at Dollar Tree, too. So there's another place you can get them. And shopmissay.com. So those are my Desert Island 7 palettes that I get to keep if somebody comes and takes all my makeup and says, you can keep 7. So I genuinely want to know what your 7 palettes are. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love this concept. I had so much fun 
going through all my palettes yesterday and um, that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed already please hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video bye guys thanks for watching